Welcome to Suffrage School. I'm Manisha Sinha, the Draper Chair in American History at the University of Connecticut and the author of The Slave Scores, A History of Abolition. And today I want to share with you an extraordinary document uh, from the Blackwell Family Papers in the digitized collections of Radcliffe's Schlesinger Library. This document is a protest that Lucy Stone and Henry Blackwell wrote on their marriage. It was a combined effort, and if you go to the document, you can see that Lucy Stone wrote it and Blackwell uh, scratched out parts of it and added his own words. Stone and Blackwell were abolitionist feminists. They believed in fighting for both black rights and women's rights. And like many abolitionist couples, they wanted to be equal partners in marriage. So they wrote this protest against the powerlessness of women once they got married in 19th century America. Again, if you go to the document, you will see the list of things that they thought women suffered under once they got married. They lost personal custody of their persons. They lost guardianship of future children. They lost access to their own wages and property. The husband owned everything. You will see that they mention, quote, the personal independence and human equality of women as something to be cherished and protected even after they got married. Now, this document was edited and published in the abolitionist press, and it caused a sensation. A few years later, Lucy Stone went a step further and retained her maiden name. In the 1920s, when American feminists started doing that, they called themselves Lucy Stoners. No, not stoners, as you understand it. But what this document shows and why I think it is so interesting is that these abolitionist feminists in the 19th century who eventually became leaders in the suffrage movement decided to live out their personal convictions, not just in their political life, but also in their personal lives. So I invite you to look further in the Blackwell family papers to uncover this extraordinary partnership that Lucy Stone and Henry Blackwell had in the fight for women's suffrage in this country.